I'll, I'll go directly to the application and uh, uh, start my presentation by showing everyone uh, seven o'clock. So as you can see, this is the platform that we have built, which is the home for all our aging clocks. So customers, providers, uh, clinics, and hospitals, uh, you'd be accessing this URL, senoclock.deeplongevity.com. You will have a unique ID and password, which will be your uh, login and your email and your password. Uh, and then this is the landing page that you will see. As you can see here, you would be able to drag and drop files. I'll do that in a minute. And there is a, a, a dashboard here, which uh, allows you to track uh, what uh, reports have been uploaded, how many have been processed, if there has been any which, uh, which didn't get processed. So I'm going to start the process. Imagine I am a, um, I'm an admin at the, at the clinic. End of the day, I have got a list of uh, blood reports. And we are launching 10 o'clock as Alex outlined with the blood age. We are going to have our psychological aging clock uh, available in a, in a couple of months. Um, so you can actually upload blood reports in a PDF as well as CSV format. Uh, and Excel as well. So we are in the process of building the Excel format out as well. So it should be available by the time uh, any of you are implementing this uh, in your clinics and hospitals. So you see, I am able to select multiple files and I, I choose all the files. In this case, this is blood age. So this is the only clock that is appearing going forward. If you have uh, psychological questionnaires that you are uploading, we'll have that also here uh, in the dropdown. So I choose uh, blood age and I, I generate the reports. So uh, this is where you can, this is a, a progress bar. You can see that the reports are being processed and you can see that the numbers got updated, right? So it was 82, it has become 88 and this has become 78. So if I click here, I can actually see that this, this application is uh, processing. Now, a few things I'd like to say while this is going on, um, and you will see this is, this is the premise of making aging clocks available on the cloud is the processing is instantaneous. So you'd be able to generate uh, reports in a, in a matter of a minute, few minutes. The platform is highly scalable. So you could use it for a few dozen, few hundred, uh, few thousand, tens of thousands of, uh, patients and customers, uh, and it will scale accordingly. Uh, this is global. So you could have uh, your uh, businesses, your business units, your clinics in different cities, uh, uh, in different parts of the world, and you could still manage that as a, as a single business. Uh, finally, we have built this application, keeping uh, privacy at the heart of it. So any application, any reports that we upload, uh, we would be in the uh, in the live environment, deleting them within 72 hours. This is also a, a, a customizable parameter. We have kept this uh, looking at operational needs, like uh, making these reports available over the weekend. Uh, but um, uh, it, this can be even reduced further. So you can see that uh, the reports have all been uh, processed. So before I actually show you what the output is, uh, let's look at a typical uh, blood report, right? Just for us to sort of familiarize ourselves in terms of what does the report look like, right? So this is, uh, this is from Quest, one of the largest labs in the US. Uh, and, and the format sort of changes from different labs, different uh, countries, different regions, and we are able to actually handle all that complexity. All we need from you is a sample uh, and the sample can, uh, we can process that, uh, see if there are any tweaks that we need to make to our algorithms to handle different formats, different languages, all of the complexity we can handle. Uh, but in effect, then you see, and this is sort of uh, the practice that is followed all over the world. You will see certain numbers and uh, then basically as a patient, there is very little that such a report tells you. You are then, uh, you have to take this to a, to a doctor and the doctor will usually look at what is sort of the outlier and have a conversation focused on the outlier. Uh, but a lot of information is actually hidden in this report, which we'd like to uh, bring out to you. So I'm gonna go back to my application, see what are the process report and pick up the report from uh, 
request. So you can see, you can just click and download the reports in a second and it's downloaded on your uh, laptop or your desktop. So you open the report and this is the seven o'clock uh, blood summary. At the top, you can see you have your clinic name. This is a test logo. So this would be the logo that, that your organization would have. So this would be like a branded offering from your organization that would be shared. The information about the user is listed here. Uh, this is just the patient gender and age. Uh, and that's, that's actually all we need to generate these reports. We need the gender, we need the age, and we need the markers in the blood report. So this particular person uh, is 30 year old and but has a biological age, blood age in this case of 28, uh, which is great. The person is doing very well. Uh, and then there is an opportunity to do even better. And uh, the optimal age can be 25 for this person. Uh, so here is a little bit of uh, visualization to confirm this information. We compare the, the biological age of the person with the database that we have which is, and this statistic then is the projection into the rest of the population, right? So this user can sort of understand that there are only one third of people out there who are maybe better health than this person, right? Which is a great st statistic. And, and it's, it's usually good if you are sort of left of the 50% uh, on this map. Now here things begin to really become very interesting. So we have looked at the clinical blood report and then we visualize uh, which parameters are sort of uh, above or beyond range, right? So then the discussion sort of becomes more holistic, right? And now the, the user or the customer and the patient knows that, okay, I can look at my uh, white blood cells and look at my cholesterol, my proteins, and then ask the doctor about these as well. We are able to um, generate organ health scores uh, if the parameters are present. Uh, in this case, the parameter is present, uh, all the parameters are present for lipid and lipid looks to be slightly suboptimal. Now, uh, the question of optimal age, and, and this, is, this is very important because this is where we want everyone to sort of take control, be the stewards of their own health and see what is that they can do in order to become better, uh, stay younger. So here, uh, the algorithm is looking at the markers which are causing aging, impacting aging. Uh, and then based on that, uh, the, the AI is uh, making recommendations. In this case, we can see certain supplements are being recommended uh, in terms of folates, vitamins, zinc. Uh, uh, we can work with you if you have your own. We have done our research. Uh, and every recommendation that we make are backed by sources. But if you have your own protocols and regimen, then we can look to integrate that uh, with, with our approach as well. Moving on, we actually break this down and there are very few companies. Alex made a point earlier on in terms of uh, how we are published, how he has been instrumental himself in, in many of the studies that... Uh, we have created, we think we are amongst the few organizations who publish extensively, right? In fact, I don't think there are many organizations in this space doing what we are doing, who are so open and transparent in terms of their approach and, and uh, their science. Uh, we publish extensively, all our papers are listed on our website under the science tab. So you can actually go there and uh, read through if you're interested. Uh, and we want to take the same approach when we are speaking with the, with the patient and customer, because we understand how sensitive the topic of health is, and we would like everybody to understand their health as much as, as it can be done without sort of uh, overwhelming them. So here you can see we have, uh, we have taken the top 14 markers, and we are saying the ones in red are the, are the markers which is causing aging, and the ones in green are the, are the anti-aging markers. But then we actually take every marker and we break it down and we say this is the impact years, right? So the visualization is on the top 14 to, to enable a, a better, faster, more focused conversation. But then everything is sort of clearly uh, detailed out. And then the person can really understand that the blood age is being calculated as a sum of the chronological age, the markers which are impacting aging, and plus the markers which are anti-aging. In this case, this is... 30 plus 10 minus 12, which is 28 years. 
so so the person is just not grappling with the number right so i've i've got 28 years where does it mean where does it come from but now begins to understand that this is how the the age is being predicted we imagine how such a conversation can be across the table across a physician uh, and we didn't want the customer to sort of have two different documents uh, or the physician to have two different documents uh, so we have taken that need out and what we have done is we have populated uh, the the values from the clinical blood report uh, in here and personally uh, maybe you would agree uh, that this table sort of looks better to me uh, than the one i showed earlier right this is much clearer and easy to categorize and in easy to read uh, than what we saw before uh, so even this itself is is uh, is generating value in terms of facilitating a better conversation with the physician we want people to understand their health better so we will we explain uh, the the organ health scores we explain how which markers are used to calculate those organ health scores uh, for the ones which are present in this case uh, lipid was present so lipid is calculated using these four parameters of of cholesterol and triglycerides we also explain why we are proposing or rather the the, the algorithm in the ai is uh, proposing the um, recommendations uh, for for improving the health that's what does a folate supplementation do it's necessary for platelet production in the bone marrow what does b12 do this is not information that is easily available and uh, most of us uh, or most people who are not very tuned in towards health as a topic uh, would know what this would mean having mentioned all of that it is very important that we call out that this is and we don't intend th intend this to be an instrument for self diagnosis or self medication uh, we would like the the patients and the consumers to use this uh, but then seek advice from a trained uh, health professional for actually uh, charting a regimen uh, that they can follow <laughs>